Hello everyone! Leo the limo's coming over to the garage today. He's a super long stretched out car who takes people to special places in style. Oh no! Look out, Leo! Oh dear. Leo's got a scratch down his side now. And he's covered in mud. That's not a good look. You'd better hurry over to the garage, Leo, so we can help you get cleaned and repaired. Oh dear, that puddle must be deeper than it looks. Leo's wheel is stuck. I'd call for Helen the helicopter, but there's too many trees and not enough room for her to land. I think it's time to call on our newest Gecko's Garage helper. Tilly the tow truck. Go, go, Tilly! Tilly the tow truck has a big hook that she can use to rescue vehicles in trouble. Tilly's hook is perfect for pulling Leo out of that deep puddle. Thank you, Tilly. Now you can both drive to the garage. Thanks again for your help, Tilly. You're a great new member of our team. Oh dear, look at the state of you, Leo. Leo's supposed to be driving me and the Mechanicals to the premiere of the new Star Truck movie. But we can't turn up with him looking like that. We'd better get you fixed up, Leo. Drive through the truck wash so that we can clean that mud away. There, now the mud's gone. Let's get you into the garage, so that we can take a good look at you. Let's all see what we can learn, as we make Leo turn. Wow, that is a nasty scratch. And your sunglasses are broken too. Don't worry Leo, the mechanicals will soon have you looking as good as new. Go, go, Mechanicals! That really is an awful scratch. But the Mechanicals have paint to match. A quick respray. New glasses too. And there you are, as good as new. Fantastic! Leo looks like a super cool dude again. Well done, Mechanicals. It's time to drive over to the movie premiere. Jump in, Mechanicals. Red, orange and yellow Mechanicals. Green, blue and purple Mechanicals. Black, white and grey mechanicals, brown mechanical and pink mechanical. Hang on a minute, it looks like the mechanicals have invited all of their friends and family to join us. Goodness me, they're all coming out of the woodwork. Leo might be a stretch limo, but he can't possibly carry all these extra mechanicals to the premiere. He's going to need some help. Here come some helpers now. Maisie the mower, Trevor the tractor, Max the monster truck, Dylan the dump truck, and Bobby the bus. Hmm, I'm still not sure there's going to be room for all these extra mechanicals. Let's measure you. Let's measure the vehicles to see how long they are. We can use the crates to help us. Maisie the mower is the smallest. She's one crate long. 
Next is Trevor the tractor. Two crates long. The middle truck is Max the monster truck. Three crates long. Even bigger is Dylan the dump truck. Four crates long. The longest vehicle is Bobby the bus. Five crates long. To make more room for more mechanicals, I think we're going to have to turn you all into... Stretch trucks! Let's press the stretch button. The first one in is little Maisie. Ha ha, this machine is really crazy. It pushes and pulls her, fast then slower. Welcome Maisie, the stretch mower. Here comes Trevor from the farm. Don't worry Trev, no need for alarm. Now he really has the X Factor. Introducing Trevor, the Stretch Tractor. Next in line is our friend Max. Following in Trevor's tracks. Everyone will be awestruck by Max, the Stretch Monster Truck. Dylan is the next one through. Ready to join the stretched out crew. A twist, a pull, a nip, a tuck. It's Dylan, the stretch dumper truck. Bobby is the last through the machine. It stretches him like a string bean. It's Bobby XL++++. Plus plus plus. It's Super Long Bobby, the stretch bus. Let's see how long our vehicle friends are now. Maisie the mower is six crates long. Trevor the tractor. Seven crates long. Max the monster truck. Eight crates long. Dylan the dump truck. Is nine crates long. And last but definitely not least, Bobby the bus is Ten crates long. They're enormous. That's everyone on board. Let's head over to the movie premiere. Wow, this is amazing! Thank you to Leo and my other truck friends for driving us to the movie in style. I'm sorry they can't join us all in the cinema. They're too long to fit in the seats. Hang on a minute. This isn't a regular movie theatre. It 
it's a drive-in. That means everyone can watch the film, even my truck friends. Hooray! again soon. Bye! Hello everyone! Dr Poppy's invited us to a special fancy dress party at the zoo today. We all have to dress up as zoo animals. I promised to help my friends get dressed up for the party. Here they come now. Ryan, Florence, Celia, Andy, Rick, Tony, Tilly, Maisie, and Bobby. Now my friends are here, it's time to get them into their animal costumes for the party. Let's put the truck wash into dressing up mode. Do you know which button is the dressing up button? That's right, it's the green hanger and bow. Brilliant! Now the truck wash is a dressing up machine filled with fantastic costumes. It's time to send the vehicles through. In goes Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane. He's going to make you laugh. When you see him all dressed up as a super tall giraffe. Up next is Florence the Forklift. What will she dress as today? She's a baby elephant, all wrinkly, and grey. Celia the cement mixer is clean and sprayed and white. She's a stunning zebra, like a horse, but striped. Andy the animal ambulance had better stay away from Ryan. We wouldn't want our new giraffe being chased by a fearsome lion. Rick the reliable road roller looks like the next one to go. A couple of horns, a coat of paint. What a scary looking rhino. Here comes Tony the taxi. What's going on in there? A pair of ears and some white spray paint makes a cuddly panda bear. Now it's tow truck Tilly's turn with her clothes from Halloween. She makes a brilliant scorpion. Those claws look really mean. In goes Maisie the mower, add a new head that's fake, stretch her out, add a tongue, she makes a brilliant snake. And now it's Bobby the bus, into the costume provider. And out he comes with eight new legs. A big, huge, hairy spider. Can you guess what I'm dressed up as? I'm orange, with black stripes and sharp teeth. That's right, I'm a tiger. Rah! Everyone looks fantastic, but we've forgotten to dress the mechanicals. Mechanicals! 
Stop messing around and drive into the dressing up machine. In go the mechanicals. Each one disappears. And out pop cheeky monkeys. With long tails and giant ears. Brilliant! Now we're all ready. Let's head over to the zoo. Ryan the giraffe. Florence the baby elephant. Celia the zebra. Andy the lion. Rick the rhino. Tony the panda. Tilly the scorpion. Bobby the spider. Maisie the snake. And the monkey mechanicals. Hello everyone! <laughs> what a great party! Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Where is Bobby? He's very late. Oh, hello everyone. You haven't seen Bobby the bus anywhere, have you? Bobby was supposed to be taking us back to the garage half an hour ago. But there's no sign of him. <laughs> It's so cold today, and Blue Mechanical forgot to bring his hat, scarf and mittens. Oh no, there's Bobby. It looks like he's stuck in the snow. He can't get out of that snow drift, and he looks very cold. That can't be good for his batteries. Just like us. Bobby the bus doesn't feel very well if he's too hot or too cold. His batteries work best when they are warm. Bobby's batteries can't give his wheels enough power when it's as cold as this. And his wheels don't have enough grip on the icy road. We need to help him right away. Come in, Tilly. I'm sending you Bobby's location now. Please can you come and rescue him from a snow drift? Make sure you put your snow chains on your tyres. The weather is terrible out here. Here comes trusty Tilly to ease poor Bobby's pains with her super grippy tyres and sturdy snow chains. She's so strong and steady, she doesn't make a fuss. Even when she's towing, a big electric bus. I don't think Blue Mechanical's feeling very well either. Hello Tilly, are we glad to see you? Let's head back to the garage to warm up. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Bobby turn. Poor Bobby's wheels were really stuck. He couldn't make them go. And his batteries don't work so well under all that ice and snow. Now Tilly's brought him back here out of the winter storm. We need those kind mechanicals to make poor Bobby warm. Go, go mechanicals! I don't think that little hairdryer will melt this cold snow shower. I think we need something with a little bit more power. That heater's more like it. He'll soon be warm and dried. But how can we keep Bobby's batteries warm when he's back outside? Ah, when we go out into the cold, 
we wear a winter hat. So they're knitting one for Bobby. Why didn't I think of that? Bobby can stay with us for now, to keep warm overnight. He can go out in the morning, as soon as it gets light. Good old Trevor the tractor. He's spending the evening clearing the snow from the roads with his snow plough. The snow is melting. Trevor has helped to clear the roads. And Bobby has his new hat to keep him warm. He's off to do his job and pick up some passengers. I'm glad we could get Bobby warm again. Remember to always wear your coat, hat and gloves when you go outside in the winter. Just like me and the mechanicals. Hang on a minute. What happened to poor old blue mechanical? Ah, there he is. Phew! Bye! Hello everyone! We've got a new vehicle to meet today. Maisie the mower is cutting the long grass along the sides of the road with her giant cutters. She cuts the grass nice and short so that vehicles can see where they're going and stay safe. Maisie leaves the rest of the grass and wild flowers to grow tall so that bees and butterflies have plenty of nectar to eat. That's looking great, Maisie. Now that Maisie has cut the grass verges, she's here at the stadium with an important job to do. It's the Truck Cup final soon, so the vehicles are going to be playing football on this pitch. That's soccer for all you lovely American viewers. The vehicles are over at the garage getting painted up, ready to play in the Truck Cup final. But here at the stadium, the football pitch is very overgrown. It needs mowing right away so that the grass is short enough to play on. The pitch is enormous. There's lots of grass to cut. Maisie's mowing the pitch in lovely straight lines. Oh dear. I think I spoke too soon. Maisie's wobbling about and the lines are all wavy. I think something's wrong with Maisie's steering. Oh no, now she's cutting shapes into the grass. Triangle. Circle. Square. Rectangle. Pentagon. Hexagon. And star! That's no good at all. We need to get Maisie to the garage. But she can't drive in a straight line for long enough to get there. This looks like a job for Helen the helicopter. Go, go, Helen! Okay, Maisie, let's get you back to Gecko's garage. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's see what we can learn. 
as we make Maisie turn. Hmm, your blades and your wheels seem okay. It looks like it's just your steering column that's broken. I'll get the mechanicals to fix you right away. Go, go, mechanicals! It's hard to get on with the mowing when you can't choose where you are going. You need to mow in nice straight lines in order to be finished on time. The mechanicals have fixed your steering. The football crowds will soon be cheering. Get back to the stadium and fast. Then you can cut, cut, cut that grass. Now that Maisie's been repaired, she's making short work of that grass. It's looking great. And following her is Sid the skid loader with his line painting attachment. He's repainting the pitch markings onto the lovely short grass. Well done, Maisie. Well done, Sid. Now Maisie and Sid have finished working on the pitch, everything is nearly ready for the Truck Cup final. Join us next time to watch the match and see which team will win the trophy. Bye! Hello everyone, it's the day of the Truck Cup Final. I hope you're all as excited as we are. It's a five-a-side match between the construction trucks and the regular trucks, and I'm the referee. The construction trucks are going to play in yellow, so they're already the right colour. But the other trucks are all different colours. So for today's game, they are all getting painted blue. Everyone looks great, but there's something missing. I know, football players usually have a number on their shirt. Let's use even numbers for the yellow team and odd numbers for the blue team. I wonder if Maisie and Sid have finished getting the pitch ready. Wow, the pitch looks fantastic. Well done, Maisie. Well done, Sid. I've got the football, and here come the teams. Is everyone ready to begin? Three, two, one. The yellow team has the ball. Danny passes it to Rick. Oh no. Rick's flattened the ball. I hope the Mechanicals can pump it back up again. Well done, Mechanicals. That's a yellow card for Rick. The blue team get the ball. Max has the ball. He's nearly at the yellow team's goal. Oh no, they have George as their goalkeeper. He's enormous. He fills up the goal. Can Max get past George? Yes! He's done it! Max scores a goal! 1 0 to the blue team! Trevor's got the ball! He's slow and steady, but. Oh no! Ryan has taken the ball! Look at him go! Brilliant dribbling! It's like the ball is glued to his tracks! Hang on a moment! He's attached the ball to his chain! That's not fair! That's a yellow card for Ryan! The blue team get the ball again. Rebecca's got the ball. She passes to Fiona. Hey, Fiona's using her flashing lights to get the yellow team to move out of the way. That's not allowed. Yellow card for Fiona. The yellow team get the ball. It's Danny on the ball now. He passes it to Florence. It's all down to Florence now. Can she score for the yellows? She weaves past Fiona. She weaves past Max. 
Vicky's in goal. But she can't stop Florence. It's a goal for the yellow team. That's one goal each. And that's the final whistle. Both teams have scored a goal, so it's a draw. What a fantastic game. It was a draw, so everyone's a winner. They can all share the trophy. Should we keep it at the garage? Everyone looks so happy. Well, almost everyone. Maisie and Sid don't look very happy. Ah, uh, I think they've seen what a mess the grass is in after all that driving around. Sorry. Don't worry, Maisie and Sid. The grass will soon grow back. Thanks for joining us for the Truck Cup final today. I hope you had as much fun as we did. See you again soon. Bye! Hello everyone. Dr Poppy's acting very strangely today. She's asked me to come over here to the spare parts store to look for some traffic cones. But I can't find them anywhere. Hello everyone! It's Gecko's birthday today, so I'm trying to keep him away from the garage while we set up his surprise birthday party. Lots of Gecko's friends are here to help out, and we have a list of things to do. We need balloons, ice cream, music, a birthday cake, games, guests, gifts, and some party hats. Well, it looks as if the balloons are nearly sorted. Well done, Mechanicals! Here comes Vicky the ice cream van. You can't have a party without yummy ice cream. And here's Amber the ambulance. The loudspeaker on her roof will be great for playing party music. I wonder how Gecko's getting on at the spare parts store. I hope Florence is keeping him busy. This spare parts store is such a mess. I can't find those traffic cones. Let's keep looking, Florence. We have balloons, ice cream and music ticked off the list. Now we need to make a birthday cake. First, we need the ingredients. Dylan is carrying the flour. Sid has the sugar and the cocoa powder. And here comes Trevor with butter and eggs fresh from the farm. We need to mix all of the ingredients together. I know just the mixer, Celia. Now the ingredients are mixed and poured into that giant cake tin, we need to cook the cake. Hmm, it's far too big for my kitchen oven. What are we going to do? I found this controller for the truck wash, Dr Poppy, and it appears to have a party setting on it. Shall we see what it does? Great idea, Robbo. Press the party button. <laughs> Wash has changed into a giant cake baking and decorating machine. Let's put it in. Look at that cake rise! Now the birthday cake is getting decorated. The icing is green, just like Gecko. And finally, the cake just needs a few candles. Brilliant! That's the cake done, so we're nearly ready. I wonder if Gecko has found those cones yet. <laughs> oh dear, the traffic cones are orange. We've sorted out all of the orange things, but still can't find them. Keep looking, Florence. They must be here somewhere. What do we have left on our list? Games, 
guests, gifts and party hats. Ah, here come the games! Ryan has a piñata filled with sweets and Sophie has a giant parcel ready for a game of Pass the Parcel. And here are all the guests with their gifts for Gecko. Just the party hats left to get. Found them! Phew! Come on, Florence. Let's take all these cones back to the garage. I wonder what Dr Poppy wants them for. Shh, everybody. Here he comes. Three, two, one. My goodness, what a lovely surprise. Thank you, everyone. What an amazing looking cake. But just one question. What did you need the traffic cones for? They make the perfect party hats for your vehicle friends, of course. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gecko. Gecko's garage today and helping us with Gecko's surprise birthday party. Bye! Bye. Hello everyone. We've got a real problem at the garage today. Rick the road roller hasn't got any roads to roll at the construction site. He's really bored and now he's here flattening anything he can find. Hey, that's my toolbox. Rick! We really need to find something useful for Rick to do before he causes any more damage. Hello, Vicky. Vicky the ice cream van's visiting us today too. She's looking for something new to sell to people at the beach. Ice creams and lollies are okay as a treat. But Vicky wants to sell something a bit healthier as well. Come inside the garage, Vicky, and I'll show you what we've got for you. Check out the Rainbow Smoothie Trailer 3000. It can hold six different types of smoothie, made with yummy, healthy fruit. It's the perfect drink to cool people down during a hot day at the beach. What's the matter, Vicky? Don't you like it? Oh, I see. You like the smoothie trailer, but it's empty. Hmm, how are we going to make the smoothies? My truck friends can deliver the fruit, but we need a way to squash it into juice. That is a problem. Can you think of anyone who can help us to squash the fruit? Rick! Of course! That solves both our problems. Rick gets something useful to squash and Vicky gets her smoothies. We need a platform for Rick to stand on so that he can squash the fruit. Then we can park the smoothie trailer underneath to catch the juice. This sounds like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals! While the mechanicals are building the platform for Rick, let's have a look at the yummy fruit that my truck friends are delivering. Helen the helicopter is carrying a load of giant watermelons. Florence the forklift has crates of juicy oranges. Dylan the dump truck is carrying lemons, pineapples and mangoes. Trevor the tractor has a trailer of crunchy apples and furry kiwis. Sid the skid loader is loaded up with blueberries, grapes and plums. And Max the monster truck has boxes of tasty bananas and delicious ripe raspberries. 
Let's make some rainbow smoothies. Let's get squashing. We'll start with red. Oh no! Rick's crushing green fruit instead. Oh, now I see why he was so keen. Inside the watermelon is red, not green. Now here's a fruit with nothing to hide. It's called an orange, and it's orange inside. It's the juice I love the most. It's yummy with my morning toast. Lemon, pineapple and mango. Rick squashes them up. The juice is yellow. Watch the pipes as the liquids flow into the trailer down below. Next, I think it must be time for apple and kiwi and a hint of lime. The best juice colour I've ever seen. Just like me, a lovely green. Now I don't know what to do. Blueberry juice isn't really blue. So let's add grapes and then a plum. A purple smoothie's just as fun. Just one more box of fruit to go. Squash those raspberries nice and slow. Add some bananas and it's ready to drink. This final one is super pink. Fantastic! Well done everyone! Those smoothies look great! Before you head off to the beach, Vicky, I think we should do a taste test. Mmm, -mm, these are yummy! The people at the beach are going to love these healthy fruity drinks. Thanks for joining us at Gecko's Garage today and helping us to make delicious smoothies. See you again soon. Bye.